Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me and the Princess Grace Foundation as we welcome the 2021 Princess Grace Award winners in theater, dance, and film. The Princess Grace Award was my first important recognition as a film student. It gave me the courage to pursue a professional movie career with the conviction that I had something special in my storytelling to share with the world, and that there were people on the other side who would help support this endeavor. In other words, I wasn't alone. I know it's true. Throughout the years, the Princess Grace Foundation has continued to be my most trusted supporter, confidant, and home. So I know how important the Milestone Award is for early career artists, and I'm honored to kick off tonight's celebration. I'm proud to have been invited to serve as the chair of the Princess Grace Foundation's inaugural Artist Summit for new award winners. Earlier this week, we hosted a three-day virtual series of creative panels and conversations led by luminaries in the performing arts and specially curated for the new class of award winners. I had the pleasure of hosting an artist roundtable and meeting this year's extraordinary talent and can't wait for you to get to know their work. This special celebration is made possible thanks to our 2021 Awards Leadership Committee, the Princess Grace Foundation Board of Trustees, Arts Advisory Board, Crown Patrons of Grace, and friends like you. So, congratulations to everyone. And now, let's get on with the show. take on something, I like to do it well, and I like to do it completely. I was very lucky in my career and I loved it. I can only say thank you with all my heart to all who made this possible for me. Thank you. I would like to be remembered as understanding and kind. I'd like to be remembered as a, as a decent human being and a caring one. The Princess Grace Foundation represents the living legacy of Princess Grace. Through Grace Influential, the Foundation recognizes and celebrates the ongoing impact of Grace Kelly, Princess of Monaco. Through digital content, global partnerships and events, Grace Influential is building a community around the world where giving back is both fashionable and relevant, where passion meets purpose and where kindness is beautiful in every sense. The Princess Grace Foundation's main philanthropic mission honors her biggest passion, supporting the next generation of artistic talent. Through the Princess Grace Awards, the Princess Grace Foundation continues her commitment to support and nurture extraordinary emerging artists. When someone says, we like what you're doing, we believe in what you're doing. We want you to keep doing it. There's nothing like that in the world. Winning the Princess Grace Award was the first sign of encouragement. I can maybe have a career that is distinguished and that meant a lot. This really does mean the world for me because I, I really needed it at that time. And you guys came through for me, so thank you. You're gonna be able to just slow down, focus on your work, and not be struggling or stressing about how to pay your rent and to eat. It has made a huge difference on not just my life, but many, many others. The Princess Grace Foundation has been integral to every single evolution in my artistic journey thus far.
We are thrilled to share virtual space with you this evening as we celebrate the extraordinary artistic talent of this year's Princess Grace Awards. The silver lining of virtual events is that it allows our global community to join us in celebrating the new class of Princess Grace Award winners. As we kick off this evening, we also want to acknowledge how difficult the past 18 months have been for artistic communities. Many lost work opportunities and continue to struggle as we navigate reopening our industries. But despite the tremendous challenges, this year's group of applicants also showed us that the future of the arts is bright, with new generations of creative talents shaping and pushing the boundaries of their art forms, educating us and guiding us toward a bright artistic future. Our process could not work without the valuable insights and knowledge from our Arts Advisory Board, helmed by Chair Melia Bensussen. Each year, a curated panel of theater, dance, and film industry experts work in tandem with the staff of the Princess Grace Foundation to evaluate the applications that are submitted by our incredible nominating organizations and individuals. Thank you to our panelists and nominees for generously lending your time to this important selection process. In 2021, we launched an updated Princess Grace Awards process, one that sought to ensure our process remains equitable and accessible to artists. Key changes included opening the nomination process up to previous Princess Grace Award winners, a two-part application to standardize and simplify the process, and unrestricted cash grants for artists paid directly to them. Tonight's celebration would not be possible without the tireless dedication of our Board of Trustees, our Crown Patrons of Grace, our 2021 Awards Leadership Committee and Guild, and all of our committed supporters. Thank you for staying with us throughout this journey. You have empowered us to boldly blaze an exciting new chapter for the Foundation and allow a new class of young talent to take an important step on their creative journey. The 2021 Princess Grace Award celebration marks the important return to a vital endeavor established in my mother's name to nurture promising young artists. This has been an immensely challenging time for the arts. The bright lights of Hollywood, Broadway, and stages throughout the world dimmed overnight. And yet, we witnessed the remarkable resilience of artists who found new and creative ways to entertain us and give us hope. Our very own Princess Grace Award winners uplifted our hearts with their impressive talents when we needed it most. Now more than ever, it is a time to value artists. They are the voices of our community and the collective voices of our humanity. On behalf of myself and Princess Charlene, we congratulate the class of 2021 award winners in theater, dance, and film, and look forward to seeing your extraordinary lights shine brightly on prestigious stages and screens across the world. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Landau and I'm a writer and a director who won the Princess Grace Award in Theater in 1988 and a Statuette Award in 1999. I remember that both awards came at a time for me when even more than the financial boost they provided me, which I was grateful for, I was deeply in need of the emotional and spiritual boost they brought at the time. I remember thinking then how I felt like someone magical had just reached out to me and whispered into my ear, keep going. And it meant the world to me. And so I did keep going. And so I remain so grateful to this day to the Princess Grace Awards. Before we meet this year's Princess Grace Award winners, I want to thank all of the nominators for the awards this year. The process to identify extraordinary early career talent truly starts with you. As leaders in your field, you see the next generation of artists and you nurture and mentor them. And the mission of the Princess Grace Foundation couldn't be possible without your help. And we thank you very much. Okay, let's meet our 2021 Extraordinary Artists in Theater. This year we received an incredible pool of applications proving that the next generation of theater artists are ready to take center stage. These six Princess Grace Award winners are continually broadening what theater can be and showing us how stories and who tells these stories matter so much in our world today. 
They embody the multi-hyphenate. They are theater makers, educators, cultural workers, and performers. It is my honor to welcome and introduce the 2021 Princess Grace Award winners in theater. Let's meet them and take a look at their work. Hi there, my name is Nikki Douglas and you can refer to me using any pronoun said with respect. I am a theater artist, writer, educator, and creative producer. I make experimental black theater that utilizes dance, poetry, live music, and absurdism to investigate large themes that adversely impact black women and femmes. Thank you for this acknowledgement, Princess Grace Award Committee. I am profoundly honored. Hi. I'm Chiang Ng, and I use they, them, and he, him pronouns. I was born and raised in Singapore, and I currently live in New York City. And I'm a multidisciplinary artist, primarily working in theater. I'm a singer, songwriter, playwright, and actor. And I live at the intersection of queer, Asian, and immigrant stories. Hi, I'm Steph Paul. My pronouns are she, her. I'm a director, choreographer, performer, and educator. My favorite thing about my work are the people who populate the room. I seek to meet the individual exactly where they're at and clear space for their own individual exploration, discovery, and play. And I also think that building ensemble and making teams is the best thing ever. And I'm honored every chance I get to do so. Hi friends, my name is Sarah Porkolop. My pronouns are she and her. I'm a Pisces sun, Taurus moon, and Capricorn rising. I am also a multi-hyphenate words-based storyteller working primarily in theater and TV and soon to be film with a special emphasis on narratives by BIPOC creatives for BIPOC communities. When I'm not doing that stuff, I'm a cultural worker and a power lifter and bodybuilder. I live heavy things, literally and metaphorically. What's good? My name is Justin Ross. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a Virgo and my pronouns are he, him, and they, them. I'm a queer multi-hyphenate artist um, whose work ma mainly reflects a poetic investigation of black queerness and proximity to sensuality, sexuality, physicality, interpersonal relationships, trauma responses, and narcissism. I'm a recent graduate of the theater school at DePaul University where I received my bachelor's degree. And whenever I'm not creating, I'm probably eating something, watching something, and I'm also a light worker who helps people find their highest God self through intuitive channeling, tarot reading, and astrological analysis. Hello, my name is Lucas Bache. I am a playwright and artist from San Francisco, currently based in Minneapolis as a Jerome Fellow at the Playwright Center. My writing is informed by my immigrant family, by my queer adolescence, by my upbringing in the Silicon Valley and its proximity to tech culture. Here, my work explores systems of capital, cybernetics, waste, excess, and an unraveling of Latinidad. Hi everyone, Tyler Peck here. I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate all this year's 2021 Princess Grace Award winners and honoraria. Welcome to the family. The Princess Grace Foundation is such an incredible family to be a part of, and I can tell you from my firsthand experience that they will continue to be there and support you along the way throughout your career. So welcome, and I'm so grateful to be here to have a moment to say congratulations, you did it. Hello, my name is Tamisha Guy. I'm a 2016 Princess Grace Award winner in dance. Receiving this award was a true honor. I received the award at a pivotal time in my career. It allowed me to continue in my work with a bit more ease. I feel incredibly blessed to be a part of this family, and I thank you so much for your continued support. Dance makers are storytellers who use the body. They hold the world's expression in their bodies and spaces, creating and making conscious space. Dance is a physical art form. And over the past year and a half, many dance makers found themselves dancing in their living rooms, basements, and any spaces they could find. Yet despite the challenge of dancing in small spaces, our applicants in dance and choreography shared their work with us and their master technique and extraordinary artistry shown through. I am pleased to welcome and celebrate the six award winners in dance and choreography. Each of these artists is breaking down barriers in their industry, 
challenging gender norms in classical ballet, pushing past constraints in a pandemic, creating virtual opportunities for themselves and for others, and reminding us that sometimes the process and creative journey is just as important as the work itself. Introducing the award winners in dance and choreography. Congratulations and welcome. Hello, my name is Ashton Edwards and I'm a student here at the Pacific Northwest Ballet School. I'm originally from Flint, Michigan, where I studied at the Flint School of Performing Arts. In 2019, I came to PMB as a PD. This following year, I added point training to my curriculum. This November, I'll be joining PMB, the main company, as an apprentice, and I'll also be doing female and male roles. Thank you so much, Princess Grace, for this wonderful honor. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Green. As artists, we are meant to bring new perspectives to the world, allowing our voices to be heard and possibly changing people's lives. Whether it's creating a space for young dancers, creating work or performing on stage, I feel like it is my life's purpose and deep desire to share my artistic voice with others and elevate underrepresented dancers everywhere. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you so much. My name is Tashrik Fredericks. I'm a dancer and early stage choreographer, originally from Johannesburg, South Africa. Currently, I'm living in New York City, working as an independent artist and with Brooklyn-based arts collective called Tribe. As an artist, dance is also my form of prayer, and oftentimes I'm praying for a world that is more inclusive, sincere, and generous. As a performer, my goal is to transcend people with my dancing, and by this I mean offering audiences an alternative perspective or simply just making them feel something that is inexplicable and or undeniable. Hi, my name is Kalia Campbell, and as an artist, I've always been someone who was motivated by purpose. My mission and my purpose are best determined by my commitment to serve others through my artistic gifts. My personal story and my faith have always been the motivation for me to serve humanity. I believe it is my responsibility to be a resource to audiences in need of a transformative experience. If I can use my gifts to interact with others and be that beacon of light, I believe I'm truly living in my purpose. Hi, my name is Martha Nichols and I am the grateful recipient of the Brian and Amy France Choreography Honor nominated by Kyle Abraham. I am a faith-based black woman choreographer, dancer, originator, and storyteller, whose work stands 10 toes down at the intersection of art, education, ministry, and culture. The deepest of thank yous to Kyle Abraham for seeing me, and the biggest of thank yous to the Princess Grace Award Foundation and Committee for this incredible acknowledgement. Hello everyone, my name is Johnny Cruz Mercer, and I'm originally from Richmond, Virginia. I consider myself a movement philosopher, educator, facilitator, social entrepreneur based in New York City, and I'm the company director of the Red Project NYC. As a black maker and thinker, I support the evolution of movement in a larger context and how it feeds community. I treat choreography as a tool toward collective freedom, finding success not in the applause, but in providing moments that guide us all through structured ways to relive epic and subconscious memory. Hi, my name is Carly Hughes, and I won the Princess Grace Award for Acting in Theater in 2003. <laughs> I want to give a big thank you to the Princess Grace Foundation for everything that you have done and continue to do for the arts community and for us as artists. When I won, um, it was not only a huge help financially, but it was that extra boost of confidence I needed coming out of college and entering a new field uh, provided a stepping stone even uh, in confidence and you know the financial support but um, that confidence I needed to go oh I can do this for a living I can make a name for myself and I can build a career um, Princess Grace does so much in providing that opportunity mentally emotionally um, for all of us and so uh, we thank you Hello, my name is Chinoya Chuku, and I am a proud 2009 Princess Grace Award recipient in film. I have said this many times that receiving the Princess Grace Award 
was and is the gift that just keeps on giving. It continues to be one of the most transformative honors that I've received and has really helped me build a foundation for the professional filmmaking career I have now. It is my honor to introduce this year's award recipients. This year's filmmakers who received the award have used the camera to tell stories about their communities, their families, their friends, and for some of them, they've turned the cameras on themselves. Let's take a look at this year's award recipients in film. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Abasi Akami, and I am a Nigerian American writer, director, and producer. My work primarily focuses on the politics of culture and identity, while also centering the experiences and stories of Africa and its diaspora. Thank you so much, Princess Grace, for this wonderful, wonderful award and honor. Danielle Deadweiler is a multidisciplinary performance artist, actor, and filmmaker. The Atlanta native has performed in productions with Kenny Leon's True Colors Theater, Synchronicity Theater, and the Tony Award-winning Alliance Theater. Deadweiler has performed in numerous television and film productions, including HBO's Watchmen and FX's Atlanta. Her experimental black woman and labor-centered films have shown at the New Orleans Film Festival and the Atlanta Film Festival, where they were recent Jury Award and Georgia Film Award winners, respectively. Hi, my name is Joas Treo Horowitz. I am a filmmaker. I work primarily in creative nonfiction and experimental cinema. My work revolves around the US-Mexico border, which is also where I'm from. I was born in a small town called Nogales, and it focuses on notions of home on the border, as well as the weaponization of landscapes in the borderlands region. My name is Cesar Chas. I'm a writer and director based in NYC. My work investigates the relationship of people of color to the state, the vilification of blackness, and how characters transcend or are subsumed by the conditions of their status. I have a feature film in the works and another film world premiering at Toronto International Film Festival this coming month. I'm so excited to be a part of the Princess Grace family and to be able to participate in those experiences, collaborations, and opportunities made possible through the foundation. Hi, my name is Zyla Parani. I'm a South Asian American filmmaker with a multicultural upbringing. I'm based in New York City and Los Angeles, and I work primarily in narrative forms. As a writer-director, I tell stories that focus on the extraordinary circumstances in the everyday lives of people not often represented on the screen. In my work, I subvert the concept of the American dream, turning it on its head, taking it down to its rawest form, and placing it firmly in today's culture. Hi, I'm M.U. I'm an experimental animator and I work with 2D digitally and traditionally drawn animation, live action footage, and interactivity. I love nonfiction animation and the archives that we build every day with our cell phones and the internet. And I'm really interested in finding connections within these collections. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Marjani Forte Saunders, but when I won my first Princess Grace Award in 2014, it was still just Marjani Forte. You see, I had just gotten married earlier that year and we hadn't quite done the name shifting thing, um, <laughs> but it was an incredibly exciting year. And one of the tremendous highlights of that year in 2014 was the Princess Grace Foundation. If I had known then what I know now about how that award would literally propel my career forward and expose me to not only a community of genre-defying artists, but also a collective of people who are looking to propel exciting, dynamic art forward into the world. I don't know what I would have done. In 2016, I would again be blessed as a Princess Grace Foundation awardee for the Special Projects Award. And that also continued to deepen my work and allow me to seize incredible opportunities with 
Los Angeles-based company Contratiempo as we explored the intersecting narratives of Frida Kahlo and the mystic deity Mami Wata coming out of West Africa and traveling all the way across the Atlantic Ocean right here to the U.S. I continue to be amazed by the incredible work and the artists celebrated by the Princess Grace Foundation. Each year, the artists nominated for the Princess Grace Awards embody incredible talent and artistry, and there are many applications that excite the panel. This year, I was proud to serve as a 2021 panelist for the Princess Grace Awards, and on behalf of the selection panel, we were impressed with all the applicants for the awards. There was a wealth of extraordinary artists. I mean, this was like, really? I don't know, did I sign up for the right job? <laughs> um, this made our decisions extremely difficult. So difficult that beyond the 18 Princess Grace Award winners, this year's selection panel also selected 12 wonderful artists to receive Princess Grace Honoraria. Honoraria artists receive a smaller grant, but most importantly, the accolade welcomes them into the Princess Grace Awards community. So they too are eligible for the exclusive grants opportunities like the Special Projects Award provided through the foundation. We are thrilled to welcome these artists into the Princess Grace Awards community. Come on, come on. <laughs> Let's meet them and take a look at their work. Ihani Washte, Isabella Star LeBlanc, Imakiapie. Hello, my name is Isabella Star LeBlanc. I'm a Sisituan Wapetuan Dakota actress, originally from Minnesota. I'm a performer who really enjoys and celebrates intersections of form and identity and all the new worlds possible when we allow them to meet. All of my work is grounded in this intersection of Western and indigenous storytelling methodologies. And I tell stories to honor the generations of indigenous storytellers who came before me, the ones who have kept our people and histories alive. Wopira Tonka, thank you. Hi, my name is David Menizabel, and I'm a director, designer, and producer working in theater in New York City. I'm one of the producing artistic leaders of the Movement Theater Company and the associate artistic director of The Soul Project. I'm really passionate about work that centers people, stories, and aesthetics of color. And I'm also really passionate about making work with and for community and challenging the American theater to be more inclusive and equitable. Hello, my name is Cameron Neal and I'm a multidisciplinary artist based in Brooklyn, New York. And my work often spans the intersections of video performance and design. Hello everybody, my name is Derek Skye and my work aims to promote cross-cultural understanding and communication between communities and artists of different backgrounds through projects and compositions that build bridges between instruments, genres, disciplines, cultures, and people. So all facets of my work uh, strive to bring communities together through musical experiences uh, that are cross-genre and, and multidiscipline um, and encourage composers and musicians to broaden their role as artists in the communities in which they work. Hi, my name is Fallon Williams. I'm a multidisciplinary artist and designer who works with space, light, and technology for live performance, architecture, and immersive environment, film, and visual art. My work is narrative driven. I like building unique atmospheres and telling stories that are both impactful and innovative. I use my work to understand and explore. This creative investigation is how I hope to bring about change in our world. Hi, my name is Kennedy Targus. I'm a dancer who uses ballet as a way to push the boundaries of what humans can create with movement and elevate current standards. With a large focus on technical details, I dance to express my own passion for ballet, communicate with audiences, and hopefully touch communities with my art. Thank you. Hi, I am Alicia Johnson, and I feel very grateful that my work is influenced by the importance of connection and lineage. 
my work for Hubbard Street Dance Chicago and beyond is about understanding the history we have as dancers in this art form while maintaining a progressive view on the art as well. I believe that dance has helped me enhance my skills as a communicator and as a listener and I look forward to the years to come. Thank you for listening and thank you Princess Grace. Hi, ciao a tutti. My name is Alice Gosti. I use she, her pronouns. I am a transnational immigrant choreographer, curator, hybrid performance artist, and founder of the performance group Malacarne. I create site responsive performance rituals and live art installations that examine the way that history and politics enter our body and condition the way that we move and we relate. I was born in Perugia, Italy, and raised by Sanford Angosti. I have worked between Italy and occupied Duwamish and Coast Salish land, Seattle, since 2008. I hope to see you soon. Ciao! Greetings, my name is Crystal Michelle Perkins. I am a Black woman performer and choreographer who thinks about Black women's memories and embodiments that are rooted in the cultural dialects of the American South. I think about this work as both a cultural and political endeavor that asks for justice for diverse dancing bodies. Hi, my name is Lydia Cornette. I use she, her pronouns, and I am a documentary filmmaker, originally from Baltimore, Maryland, and currently based in Columbus, Ohio. Much of my work is influenced by a musical upbringing, growing up in a family of musicians, and in my films, I'm really aiming to unite the camaraderie and community that I associate with music making together with the restraint and patience that comes with observational storytelling. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Hi, my name is Peppy Ginsberg. I'm a writer, director, and former singer-songwriter based in Brooklyn, New York. My work is focused in allegorical realism, where I practice narrative storytelling with an approach that is both heightened, gritty, and cinematic. My characters are often at odds with their environment and come to find strength in their outsider status by persevering through adversity. I'm interested in exploring the complexity of the human experience with a sense of lyricism, humor, and hope. I'm honored to be part of the Princess Grace family. My name is Wang Chong. I was born and grew up in a small village in southeast China. I am a documentary filmmaker and photographer currently based in Philadelphia. Uh, I am I'm interested in humanity. For me, nonfiction art form gives us a chance to connect with people and to understand others. Hey everybody, Jared Mazachi here. I wanted to take a moment to congratulate the 2021 Princess Grace Award winners and honoraria. This isn't just an award, this is the beginning of the rest of your life. You know, when I received this back in 2012, it changed the entire trajectory of my career. It not only introduced me to financial support, but it also introduced me to an entire group worldwide of thinkers and doers who also have that shared understanding that art can change the world. Welcome to this family. I can't wait to congratulate you, but most of all, I can't wait to work with you at some point. Take a moment, absorb this, and let it charge you, because this is just the beginning. Congratulations. Paralevitsi. I took Andrew Ukbeha McLean. I'm a filmmaker from Arctic, Alaska, now living in Brooklyn, New York, where among other things, I serve on the film panel for the Princess Grace USA Foundation. I was honored to be awarded a Princess Grace Fellowship in 2005 and a Special Projects Grant in 2009. The fellowship allowed me to make my short film, Sikumi, which won the jury prize at the Sundance Film Festival and helped to launch my career as a filmmaker. One of the unique elements of the Princess Grace Foundation is its continued relationship with its artists. While artists are identified early in their careers, the foundation actively invests in their artistic journey and career development. Working alongside its arts advisory board, the foundation has developed exclusive funding opportunities to support its alumni. The Special Projects Grant and the Works in Progress residencies at the Barishnikov Center for the Arts are two such annual grants to support artists with their artistic endeavors. The Special Projects Grant I received was the first step towards making my feature film, On the Ice. It allowed us to take a casting trip all over Arctic Canada and Alaska 
in search of young, undiscovered Inupat actors, without which the film couldn't have been made. This year, the Foundation received a record number of 40 special project and works in progress applications, each incredibly unique and exciting. Princess Grace Award winners are working on a multitude of compelling projects that seek to uplift the diverse voices of queer, immigrant, and cultural communities by telling stories of family, disability, trauma, environmental justice, and healing. My name is Moses Ingram, and in 2018, I received the Grace Levine Theater Award from the Princess Grace Foundation. It was my third and final year of school at what is now the David Geffen School of Drama, and it was a tremendous gift to me and gave me a lot of cushion and a lot less worry um, starting out my career. And I'm here today because in 2021, the Princess Grace Foundation launched a new grant initiative, the Grace Kelly Scholarship Program. Established with a generous leadership gift from the Victory Foundation, Grace Kelly Scholarships provide the necessary access, resources, and encouragement to nurture young aspiring theater artists and their career development. The Princess Grace Foundation is a proud partner with the Educational Theater Foundation through its International Thespian Society, also known as the Thespies. Each year, the foundation will identify 10 aspiring high school students and grant them scholarships. I am pleased to share this year's Grace Kelly Scholarship recipients, five high school students ranging in grades 9 through 11 will receive a Grace Kelly Training Scholarship. Congratulations to Layla Carter, Dane Lackey, Caroline Lem, Emma Stolmack, and Jackie Volandi. In addition to that, five students who graduated high school in 2021 will each receive a $6,000 Grace Kelly scholarship over the next four years with funds directed toward their education internship stipend, and graduation scholarship upon completion of their college, conservatory, or pre-professional training program. Congratulations to Margaret Hammond, Natalie Lawton, Grace Sorensen, Pradnya Subramanian, Tristan Williams. Congratulations once again to this exciting very talented group of young artists. You ensure that the future artistic landscape looks bright. I wish you all the best.
Daniela Repas and I am the Princess Grace Award winner from 2019 for film and here we are working together on my current feature, Pour the Water As I Leave, where I am the director. My name is John Summerson, I'm the director of animation for Pour the Water As I Leave, uh, 2014 Princess Grace Award winner for film. Hi everyone, I'm Rena Butler and I am the 2019 recipient for choreography. And I'm the choreographer uh, for the water as I think. And I am Olivia Webers. I am a winner of Princess Grace Award 2011 for choreography. And I'm the artistic director of Wim Wim, the company that's featured in the film. <laughs> We'd like to send a heartfelt congratulations to all of the 2021 Princess Grace Foundation awardees as well as the honoraria. And a special thanks to the Princess Grace Foundation Guild and Natasha Ivanov and Crown Patrons of Grace Leadership Committee. And Brian and Amy France, as well as Lily Safra. And Carrie Gianjovi and Nina Iacomino. As well as Her Excellency Maggie Macario Doyle, the Ambassador to the Principality of Monaco to the United States of America and Her Excellency Mrs. Isabel Pico, the Ambassador and Permanent Representative to the Principality of Monaco to the United Nations. Congratulations! Congratulations! Thank you all for joining us this evening as we celebrated the new class of Princess Grace Award winners. As we close out our evening, I want to give a special thank you to the Princess Grace Foundation's Art Advisory Board and our selection of panelists. The mission of the Princess Grace Foundation would not be possible without all of these members of our awards community. They are extraordinary in their own rights. Artists, educators, and curators who have dedicated their time over this past year to identify the next generation of extraordinary talent and provided guidance to ensure the foundation's grant programming continues to be responsive to the needs of the artistic community. Thank you to everyone who joined us to celebrate the 2021 Princess Grace Awards. Have a wonderful evening. Cheers.